my name is Jennifer and here are my channel. I like to chat about all things beauty and makeup and today I have my last set of empties for 2022. So these are going to be everything I used, I want to say like October through December. If that's not right, I'll put it on the screen. Um, because they did a fall empties and I think I ended that right around the end of September. So first I'm going to start out with hair care. So first I have the Marc Anthony Strictly Curls Curl Defining Lotion. There's, there's a lot, there's a lot to that name. Um, this was a dollar 42. <laughs> it's just a small one. Um, it was fine. When I first got it, I really liked it. But the more I used it, the more I was like, I think there's better stuff out there. For the price, I think it's really good. Um, but my hair care and skin care is one place that like, I don't mind really spending a lot and I set aside some budget for that. So it would not be a repurchase for me. Um, I have the Paul Mitchell Awa Pui <laughs> shampoo. I don't know how to say that. Um, this is the one liter for $27.50. Um, I used most of this and then I switched over to the Joyco um, shampoo and conditioner and I like that a lot better for my hair and scalp. Um, my husband used like the last little bit of this that was left. I don't know what happened. This got like destroyed before it even came to us. Um, but it didn't affect the product at all. So we enjoyed that. I like the smell of it. I like how it works, but I tend to like the Joyco just a little bit more. Um, it is very pricey. Both of them are really, but I wait for the Joyco to go on sale and then I kind of stock up. Um, I finished the Paul Mitchell Flexible Style Hot Off the Press Thermal Protection Hairspray. Absolutely love this. This will be a repurchase for me. Oh, at $22. This will be a repurchase for me when I finish the one I'm working on now, which is by, I think, Dry Bar. Um, I like this one a little bit more. The Dry Bar one smells amazing until it doesn't. So it started to kind of go off now, like the smell isn't quite the same. So I'm trying to hurry up and finish it as fast as I can, or at least use as much of it as fast as I can. Um, this one took me a year to use, and there was a period of time that I was not doing my hair. So $22 for a year of heat protection for me is pretty good. Like, I'm, I'm okay with that, especially if it goes on sale. Y'all know I love my sales. Um, I have the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk 3-in-1 Conditioner. I didn't put a price on this because I'm not using this. My daughter is using it. Actually, both my daughters are. Um, and this is working really well for her. So it's very affordable. It goes on sale even on top of that. So really have been enjoying using this in her hair. She does have wavy hair. Um, and I've noticed that this and um, the shampoo, which we're also using, um, with the same curl talk um, from Not Your Mother's is working really well for her. I will put the price on this screen, but that does not count towards my total since I didn't use it. I used almost all of the Paul Mitchell by myself, so that counts in my total. Um, I have the Malibu Hard Water um, like crystals, I guess. Um, it's a powder. You put it in your palm of your hand, add a little bit of water just until it makes like a paste. And then after you shampoo, you coat it over your hair, let it sit for a minute and then rinse. Um, it just helps remove a lot of the buildup that you can get on your hair from having hard water. I find I need to use it more when we need more salt in our water filter. Um, but I always, always, always use it like the day before a color treatment so that I get as much lift as I can. Anyways, that's what my hairstylist wants me using. So I do. Um, next, let's go into skincare. I finished a pack of these Zitstika Goo Getter Spot Clarifying Dots. So if you get a zit, you can put it on top of it. Look, I have one right there. So when I wash my face tonight, I'll put a, a dot on it. Did I just wipe off my foundation? Man, I'm a mess. I sure did. All better. Ish. Um, <laughs> it's a hydrocolloid patch for the late stage surface level zit. Contains niacinamide, ascorbic acid, salicylic acid, and tea tree oil. 
I really like these for the ones that um, have just erupted or are like ready to pop. Um, it may still like pop, but at least it kind of like helps get that treatment in to help it go away faster. And um, for me, I get less um, pigmentation. I get less scarring, less hyperpigmentation after. Anyways, $8. Um, again, this does not count towards my total, but I did share this last time, but my husband went through another Vanderhagen shave butter. Um, I really like this when I run out of shave gel and have to use his. So um, I don't mind it. it. It smells nice. Like it doesn't smell super manly, but it also doesn't smell girly. Um, when I say girly, like it doesn't smell like super like floral, but it also doesn't smell like super manly. It just has kind of like a fresh scent to it. This does not count towards my totals, but I did just want to share that. I finished a Pure Lease Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk. I actually finished this on my brushes. It's a $36 face wash, and I was not about to let this much product go, so I seriously just used it on my brushes because right now I have a face routine that I'm very comfortable in, and I don't I don't want to mess that up like no thank you um I have the pharmacy green clean um makeup melt away cleansing balm this one is a 100 milliliter or 3.4 fluid ounce container and this retails for $36 this is probably my most favorite um it just smells fresh uh I always scrape out every last bit that I possibly can <laughs> before I open my next one. Um, so would definitely repurchase that. I've been working on the Milani Green Goddess Makeup Melter Cleansing Balm. So um, I figured out, oh, I don't have the retail price on this. I'll have to put that on the screen. So I figured out with this one, um, two things. Number one, I like the smell of it. It's a little bit different from the pharmacy one, but it still kind of has like that fresh, green smell. Um, ounce for ounce, this works out to be more expensive than the large size. So not this one, but I think there's one bigger than this um, that's like $60. So the $60 one, this is more expensive than. But ounce for ounce, it is cheaper than this $36 one. So um, I don't find that I need particularly more or less of either one to get the job done. This one is a little bit more on the solid form and this one is a little bit more emollient, um, <clears throat> just straight out of the container. It doesn't take quite as much warming up um, to get it to more of like a spreadable form. So for this one, I do keep a spatula. So I kept this lid, this cover, and then I keep this spatula in the top of it so I, it doesn't like run away or anything. Um, you know, those spatulas just grow legs and walk away. They do when I have my hands on them because I just throw them wherever. And then when I clean my bathroom, I'm like, wow, here's the eight spatulas I lost. Um. <clears throat> So I was able to get these on sale on top of that. I don't remember what the sale price was, but it was very reasonable. It was like maybe 30% off or something like that, um, which made this even cheaper than this one. And actually on sale, this was cheaper than the $60 jar. I wouldn't say there's a huge difference in price in these, but I would say that if you're on a, bu a budget or if you have just kind of like a smaller monthly budget to do your skincare purchases, the Milani may be a good option for you because it's not a lot of money out of pocket at once. And I do find that one of these lasts me a month, maybe two, depends on how frequently I do my makeup. Um, oh, I missed a face wash. So I also have the Nina cleansing cream made with pure Canadian glacial mineral water. Um, I got this in Ipsy. It has an $18 retail value. I actually super love this. 
I did repurchase another one and so I have it in backups and when I'm done with my Tarte cleanser I'm going to go back to this. Um, I think I'm just going to switch back and forth between the two because I do get kind of bored of face washes. Um, I didn't find that there was a huge difference for my skin going from the Tarte cleanser that I normally use to this one and then back. Um, I just, I like having a little bit of variety without really messing up my skin. I like the smell of this. At first I was like, nah dog, it's not for me. But then when I switched back to the Tarte cleanser, I kind of missed it. Um, I tried to order a third one through Ipsy and they said that they mailed it and it never got to me. And I'm honestly just so tired of dealing with Ipsy customer service that I said, let it go. <laughs> I ended up with a free Natasha Nona palette on accident from them. So we're going to call it a wash. So I have the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. This is a $14 retail value. I don't really like physical exfoliators, so um, I did try it on my face and realized that that's it's not what I like. I prefer a chemical exfoliant. <clears throat> so I just used it the rest of the way on my body. It like three uses, I was good. Um, speaking of body, I have the Neutrogena Body Clear Body Scrub for a retail value of $8.39. I go through about one of these a month. Uh, have been using it since I was like 20. I've tried using other things. They don't work for me. Uh, my skin is bougie. As we know, it is very needy and it just, it wants what it wants. And I'm, I'm going to listen. For moisturizers, I have my usual Tarte Shape Tape Moisturizer. Um, I really like this as a morning moisturizer for me. I have dry, very thirsty skin. So even using a gentle cleanser or skipping cleansing, like my, my skin just, she craves the moisture, y'all. Um, I have the Pure Submerge Overnight Detox Anti-Pollution Moisturizer. This I bought on a whim at TJ Maxx and I won't be doing that again. It was fine. It didn't bother my skin at all, so that was good, but I don't think it's worth the money. Like, if you bought this full price, I it, I would be mad. I would be mad at myself if I bought this full price. I don't think it's worth that. Even at the TJ Maxx price, by the end of the bottle, I was like, I'm so done with this. I want to be done. <laughs> and then I have the Tula 24-7 Moisture Hydrating Day and Night Cream. I really enjoy this one. Um, I did end up with a couple of backups between Ipsy and Christmas. It just smells clean, fresh. Um, it's very hydrating on the skin. My skin loves it. And again, we know she's bougie. We know it. We're still going to give it to her. Um, I didn't say what the retail value is on any of the moisturizers because I'll be honest, I slacked like crazy and didn't rate them. Um, so those hopefully were appearing on the screen as I talked about them. Let's talk makeup empties. Where can I put these? I just had my vanity cleaned today and I filmed one video before this and it just went to hell in a handbasket. All right, let's get the boring stuff out of the way first. Let's talk all these mascaras that I have. So I have the Tarte Gifted Mascara with a retail value of $24. Um, I think this is a nice mascara. I don't think it's worth $24. I've gotten it free, like a free gift with purchase, or um, it came in like a set a couple of times. And then I think one was actually like purchased for me as a gift. So um, <clears throat> I think it's nice. I don't think it does anything overly amazing for my lashes, but it doesn't hurt. Like it definitely darkens them. It's good for a no makeup makeup day. It's fine for a dusk mascara for me. I would not repurchase it, but like I would accept it if it was a gift with purchase. Hopefully that makes sense. I have the Ciate Wonderland mascara. Uh, I did go out of my way to look up the retail value, but like, 
I can't read that. I should have put tape on here. Um, <clears throat> so this is a like deluxe mini, I think, or like travel size. This was fine. Oh, I didn't even show you the wand. I'm slacking. I'm slacking y'all. So this is the wand on the Gifted Mascara. It's just kind of like a basic, it's not even like a Christmas tree shape, but it's one of the like natural bristle ones. The Ciate Wonderland Mascara, this is more of an hourglass shape. Again, natural bristle. I kind of tend to prefer the rubberized ones. Um, but I don't hate a natural bristle wand by any stretch of the imagination. I just don't like them to be so large that like I poke myself in the eyes because I'm a klutz. So I need that to not happen. Formula wise, would not repurchase. I don't think it did anything amazing for my eyes. I think it was kind of clumpy if I remember right. And I just couldn't wait to be done with it. I have the Sugar Rush Last Lash Smoothie from Tarte, have retail value of $10, even though this is like a little travel size. Um, <clears throat> this has a straight rubberized wand. I really like the formula on this. Um, this is supposed to have like some, it's volumizing hemp mascara. So it's supposed to like volumize, but also have like a little bit of a serum in it to like treat your lashes. Um, I didn't notice that it did anything amazing for my lashes, but it definitely didn't hurt at all. Um, I liked having this like on my desk. I knew I could just rely on it. I could pop it on really quick before a meeting and not have to worry about clumping or, you know, transfer or anything like that. So I enjoyed it. Um, I don't think I would repurchase it, but again, if it was like free gift with purchase or, you know, if it was like on sale, you know, as part of like a five for 25 thing with Tarte, I, I, I'd probably throw it in there. Um, I have the Tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara. Um, this has a retail value of $7.50 and I think that this one is $6. Yes. Um, so I really like this as a tubing mascara. I don't think that this knocks the Thrive Cosmetics tubing mascara out of the top for me as far as tubing mascaras go. Um, I like what it did for my lashes. I had to be a little bit careful to make sure like it dried fully before I tried to put on a second coat or else it got a little bit clumpy on me. Um, <clears throat> would repurchase, but I have like 5 million mascaras right now, so I'm not in the market. And then I have the Tarte Man Eater. If you've been here at all, you know that this is my absolute favorite. Retail value of $6. Would repurchase. Receive some as a gift for Christmas, so don't need to. Love it. Okay, let's do... Um, I have two lip products. I have the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in the shade Rose with a retail value of $6 because it's a little baby. I dug out as much as I possibly could. Looks super gross and disgusting. Love this product. Like how it smells. Like the shade on me. I like the rose. Um, like the formula. So would repurchase. Already have. Have a full size that I haven't opened yet. I have the Aceology Overnight Lip Mask. This is a retail value of an unknown amount because I didn't write it on there. I'll have to put it on the screen. Wow, I'm doing terrible today. Um, so I really like this mask. I think there was a Seraphine Botanicals lip mask that I liked more than this, but I haven't been able to find it. Um, I got it a couple of years ago in like an Ipsy or Boxy or something like that, but this is like a very close second. Really do enjoy this. I put it on my lips every night. When my lips are really dry, I throw a lip oil on top of it and it really kind of like, I wake up with like nice juicy lips again. Um, and if you didn't know, I do end up like biting or picking my lips because of anxiety. I know it's a problem. We're just going to leave it at that. Super random. I have a Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense um, sample. I actually have two of them for a retail value of $3.44. Um, I really love this perfume a lot. Like I, I tried so hard to get the rest out of this because there is a tiny little bit, but nothing will come out of the sprayer. 
I'm okay with it because I received a full size for Christmas. So I'm totally fine with that. For primers, I have two minis. I have the NYX Marshmallow Primer. Um, for a retail value of $4.50 and the Tarte C Primer for a retail value of $10.67. I wanted to just put this straight down the sink and never have to deal with it again, but I didn't. I powered through. I finished it, would never repurchase it. Um, I just, I didn't find that it really did anything for my makeup. And some days if I was like having a more oily day or whatever, like it would just break up on my face and I felt like I was just wearing marshmallow on my face. It smelled good though. We'll give it that. Um, this is the Quench Hydrating Primer. This is more of like a gel primer. It smells fresh like all of the C items do. You know that my skin loves the Tarte C line. Um, no bad reactions to it, no acne, nothing like that. So really like that I have a line of products that I can rely on. And um, I have a full size of this. I'm trying not to open it. I don't think I have, but um, <clears throat> I would absolutely repurchase it, obviously. And then I have the NYX Thicket Brow Mascara. I have this in, or Thicket, Stick It. Thickening Brow Mascara. I have this in the shade Cool Ash Brown. I really did like this. At first, I hated it. I thought it was a total fail for me. And then I gave it some more time and used it a couple different ways. And I found that I really liked it when I started here and combed out and then did a little bit in the front of my brow, dip it back in here, like middle to back, and then dip it in. Um, and then went back over it with a, like just plain regular dry spoolie and kind of combed it through. If I really wanted my brows to be like done, um, I would go in with a pencil first. That's all I have on my brows today. Um, I found it really difficult to call this done, but it says it's good for six months. It's been over six months. There is still product in here because um, it's in a tube, so you can kind of like um, squeeze it up, but there's not a lot of product in here. And I found that I was mostly getting gunk and not really like a, a mix of like the fiber and the like gel, like the mascara. Um, <clears throat> I was mostly just getting like fiber. <laughs> and so it wasn't really doing anything for my brows. So I decided to call it done. Um, retail value of $11. Pretty sure I got it on sale. That's the only way I would try something new like that. But um liked it have already repurchased it I did purchase it on sale shocker not opening it yet because I have other stuff I'd like to finish up first try to be more mindful of that and not be wasteful I have the Urban Decay All Nighter um long lasting makeup setting spray retail value of $33 there is a tiny super tiny little bit back in here um, I can't really get it out, and um, when I was getting spray coming out, it was like an aggressive, like, uneven spray, so I went ahead and called it done. That was after I thought I would finish this in, like, two or three days, and it took me another three weeks of using it, and finally, I decided to call it. <laughs> and then, finally, the best empty for me, because it took me the longest, is the Tarte C Hydroflex Serum Foundation, a retail value of $39. I did buy a backup long before I even started my YouTube channel, because uh, that's the way that I am. So um, I worked on this in Partners in Cream, and very, very proud that I was able to finish it. You can see my line demarcations there, um, where I went through and um, did my updates. It took me a couple of months, it's a beautiful foundation. I'm looking forward to using it again in the spring and summer. Do not mind it at all. All right. I think that's everything. It is not quite December 31st, but I do not expect to finish anything else in my collection. If by chance I do, uh, it's just going to go in the next empties. I probably will not have a lot in my... Uh, 
first quarter empties or even first month empties. I haven't decided how I'm doing it yet. Um, I probably won't have a lot in that one because I will be having surgery as I've said like 48 times. Sorry for uh, repeating myself if you've watched a lot of my videos lately. Um, so I'm not expecting to finish a lot. So hopefully won't be too disappointed, but I probably won't update until I at least have a couple of empties to talk about, you know, like from different categories at least. I almost forgot to talk about totals. So for total hair care, skin care, and other, I was at $313.30. For total makeup, $183.55, which brings my total for summer, fall, and winter for all categories to $1,880.35. So tell me in the comments below what you have finished lately, what you've been loving, and uh, what what are you close to finishing? Like, what do you think will be an empty or your first empty? What do you think your first empty will be in the new year? Let me know. If you like this video, I hope you give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more makeup and beauty content for me, hit that subscribe button and I'll have more coming at you. I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day. Bye. <music>